Well, is it? Let me ask you. Um, you know, because Jeezy came in the news recently with uh, Gucci Man the Versus. How, you know, you saw that. You know, was there a certain way you felt about you know seeing your boy doing his thing? You know. I mean, overall, you know, when I um, overall, when when, when I realized that you know Jeezy had blew up, you know, what I'm saying I was I was happy for him. Okay. I'm like hell yeah, my nigga didn't did it. You know, he came he came from where we came from. We started together, so it, I'm, uh, it's it's a great thing to be a part of that success. However, after I saw verses, I lost I lost all respect for Jeezy. Okay, why did you lose respect for him? Because I felt that um, as a man. Of, of, of principle as a man of moral you right. should never tolerate such a such magnitude or such a de degree of dis disrespect when without Gu standing Gucci? up yeah yeah so i lost all respect for him right. and you know for him to say that he did it for the culture knowing that he had an album coming out a day or two afterwards you know what i'm saying to me was it was, was a motherfucking lie because you trying to set it old that you know the, the album that i felt like wasn't you know a really good album you know to, to keep yourself relevant because right. if you do something for the culture then you, you do what's real for the culture right you know you right, go right, back right, to sure. the communities that you're from and put some type of youth programs in these communities you know don't what the fuck is giving away 10 bicycles to some people you don't know if you want really want to do something for the culture where the shit going down at the shit going down in the streets and in the hood these motherfucking kids out here that don't have daddies and, and proper mothers to guide them if you want to do something for the for the, for the culture motherfucker go where the problem starts at try to you know act some fucking some type of some type of youth center some people that can be mentors to these kids so you prevent them from shooting and right. killing motherfuckers right. like like the king vons and the mo three incidents you know right. if you want to do something for the culture don't 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 get on no stand with a with a person and, and tolerate the most fucking vehement disrespect and then say you doing this for a culture knowing you really trying to sell a record mm. you know what i'm saying mm. that's the that's the problem i have because i don't give a fuck you know what i'm saying if i did initially come up there to do something for the culture if you if you get up there and tell me suck my dick up, uh disrespect me in the worst way i'm gonna check that shit i don't give a fuck if i gotta throw this mic over there at you i'm gonna let you know i'm a man too and i just feel like you know right. that goes for anybody in such right. a situation sure. i respect martin luther king and i respect malcolm x you know what I'm saying? But Martin Luther King was, was living out his true nature. You see what I'm saying? Of of the the, the um nonviolent right, approach. Right, right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. That is not, you know, unless Jeezy has, you know, made such a transformation and became the modern day Martin Luther King, then you know what I'm saying? I can respect that. Nevertheless, that's not the case. Mm. If you like that show, like, subscribe, and comment below. You know, hit the, hit the notification bell the subscribe button man we want you around appreciate it